What's up guys? It's King Daddy DMac and welcome back to another beautiful day in Minecraft. It has been a little while. I know, I know. I think the last video I did was maybe in when during 1.1 and now here 1.2 and even 3 has come out already so I wanted to show you a lot of the things that I've done sort of on my own time in this world uh, during this episode and also I'd like to try and finally set up some fast transportation because it has been killing me getting around my world but uh, let's sort of take it start it slow this first uh, episode back and I don't know, maybe we could consider this like uh, starting of season two or something like that. Anyway, I uh, wanted to go through and just make sure all of my different systems were working now with the new update. Looks as if my mob system with the sizzler is still working just fine. Uh, the rates have actually been getting better and better uh, as I lit up the rest, rest of my world better. But um, anyway, let's go through things and see what's changed, what's new. Uh, of course, in a lot of the stuff, it's kind of old. I don't even feel the need to tell you, but you can climb on vines now, of course. And uh, I expanded just a teeny eatsy bit my tree farm, so it's a little bit bigger. And I put uh, pumpkins for lighting instead of torches. That was kind of annoying. Of course, we've got apples and can make golden apples and all that sort of good stuff. Um, and here, I got to cut this all out. This was right here was just so that I could get enough pumpkins to make jack-lanterns for all the trees but anyway while we're here let's get started with get, making our fast transportation system um, I'd mentioned this in a previous episode that this was something that I planned on doing Ugh, I already messed up and <clears throat> don't need to do the corners but anyway we are going to instead of using the uh, boat transportation or uh, mine carts we are going to use nether portals and uh, I'll show you a little bit how that works it's really cool and uh, since we're going pretty far distances this is going to be the absolute quickest way to travel using the absolute least amount of resources so Let's get this started, and uh, I'll explain a little bit more about this. I'm not going to beat it to death, because I'm sure other people have shown this. But um, basically, what you're going to be doing is I'm going to want to take note of exactly what location, what coordinates, I've made this nether portal. And uh, based on that, I'm going to have one uh, corresponding in the nether, and I uh, should be able to link them up. So there are a couple of kind of rules and know-how of doing this but it's fairly simple basically I think that goes there yep gonna of course need your obsidian and a flint and steel so you can create it and um, let's see so right here I'm gonna want to take note and I'll do this real quickly of my X and Z coordinates the Y coordinate doesn't really matter so our X is going to be negative 644, our Z is going to be negative 517. So we'll just keep that in mind. Um, anyway, let's head back to my other island and um, take it from there. So I still I haven't done anything with uh, this top island. I want you guys to let me know. Um, I really I like to keep in this sort of an open space. For the episode, but uh, or I mean, excuse me, for the world. But I'm thinking now I might want to start building uh, a nice building or something structure going up. So it'd be kind of cool, and we can start working outside more because it's been kind of depressing just working underground. But um, we, you guys, let me know what you think. And of course, we still have our spawn spot all over there. And let's see. So not too much has changed. I'm trying to think. Uh, we had our farm. All this should work just fine still. Boom. So looking good. And looking good. So nothing broken there. Um, one thing people, someone did mention, um, and I can't believe I didn't know this. I feel like a lunatic. 
these spots here when I built this farm before because the water is up uh, a block and it's going to be dropping down any seeds that we would have planted this before was dirt they're just going to get crushed and it's going to kill the wheat and the seeds so this actually works out better because it gives me a little space that I can hop down so if you did duplicate this uh, type of farm oh, um, you're going to want to just get either not plant or put some other type of block there just to remind you but it's still fine we still have our seven spots that the water is going to run through and I guess I never replanted it but I have plenty of wheat so that's good enough to get my hoe and fix that later and I did a little bit of pixel art too I was getting kind of bored and this is of course space invaders I want to try and start doing some more of this in my world so, um this kind of sucks because the whole bottom area was not tall enough. This is kind of what also pushed me to want to expand a structure on top so I can move this roof up and have plenty of space for some nice pixel art. And the slime farm is working. We still need to do fix that up a little bit, which I'll do in the future. But uh, it's still working. Got tons of slime balls, as you can see. Over here... I put this out just to map out and remind me I want to, in within the next episode or two, probably start making a potion room um, now that we have our blaze farm finished. But we'll go take a look at that. And here we just messing around. This is all clay. I was messing around with how it looks block to block. And I think it, it looks pretty cool. But we have our room. And I mean, man, when I tell you, I've been doing a lot of XP farming. But, and we'll take a look in the nether soon. I want to get this guy running. Because he's, again, I don't see why there should be any change that doesn't work. But this was for our zombies. Let's make sure this bad boy is working fine. Yep, looking good. So, while that's running and collecting up, why don't we... I want to show you a couple. I've done quite a bit of... Uh, mining and it's got quite a bit of picks but let me just show you some of the enchantments that you missed while i was on my uh little vacation damn enderman always sneaking in down here Rawr, i'm gonna get you oh and then they disappear and i can't get them all right Here we go, guys. You ready for number 50? I really, really, really want to get Silk Touch, but let's see what we get. Ooh. Unbreaking 3. That sucks. <laughs> oh, well. It will last forever. But let's see how we do this time. Come on, baby. What are we going to get? Whoa. Wow. Efficiency 3, Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3. Holy shit, I didn't even know you could get three enchantments all in one. That's awesome. And are we going to get Silk Touch? Come on, baby. No! And come on, baby, I want Silk Touch, please. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Holy crap! Oh my god, I didn't think I'd ever get it. Holy crap, about freaking time. Let's take a look. Let me see, is this one of my picks? Yeah, I went through all my diamonds in trying to get this damn silk touch. And got a couple of, eh, those will be decent for mining. I'm breaking three, and then all these have fortune in it. So I can't say it was horrible, but my god, it was about, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten eleven so it took 12 tries one out of 12 to get freaking silk touch holy shit well we finally got it so let's make use of it Woo! i'm so freaking happy oh <laughs> so what do you guys think of that reaction to silk touch i think that was about the happiest moment that i had had that is such a bitch enchantment to get Anyway, uh, we got probably somewhere around 20 uh, zombies collected up, and then I shut off the system. So it seems that they're collecting fine. Let's test out my crusher. 
and I think it was still, as of last time, more than, it was like probably a two-hit kill for each guy, and I'm not sure, I think that might have to do with the fact that zombies have a little bit different uh, HP level, it's a little bit higher than a lot of other mobs, so it may not be possible to get a one-hit kill on them. I do not know, but anyway, let's see... All right, so that seemed pretty good. It seemed I, I couldn't tell if that was one hit or or I could if it was definitely more than one. So I'll have to play with that to see if it's possible to adjust. I can't remember what these levers did. All right, that shut it off, so no more new ones could come in, and that will let out everything. And kind of the nice thing about the zombie XP farms, even though they don't give you all that much XP, but they give you food that you can eat. So that's pretty good. Everything looks good there. A-okay. And uh, we could probably play around with the lighting underneath. Uh, I'm not going to dig it up right now. But we had the pistons extending to pumpkins, to jack-o'-lanterns, to turn it on and off. We could probably switch it around now. I'm not sure if that would even be necessary to, to screw around with. Let's just put away our food. Oh, yes. So anyway... The silk touch, wow, about the happiest moment that I had had, and I haven't made too many. I made a couple new picks, I went through a couple of them, and it's still been the only silk touch that I've done. Um, these are just level 1 enchantments. This one I did a level 50 on an iron sword, and it got pretty damn good. Got looting 3, fire aspects, might knock back, not bad. This one I did one diamond sword, and I was pretty goddamn pissed. I only got knocked back two and smite five. I really want to get the looting three on a diamond one, so that'll probably have to be our next enchantment. And then I also got one random uh, drop that the zombies uh, can give you. I think it was either a pig zombie or one of these zombies. And I uh, got a golden helmet. So we have to play around with other mobs can do that. And of course, let me get out my silk touch guy so that we can play around with that. And of course, right there... We can pick up now gra uh, dirt with the grass still right on it, so pretty cool. And might as well, since we wasted a thing on it, put that back. And then, as you can see, for ore, I spent a, uh, about a day or two uh, mining for ore. Got to make sure I'd get myself up there plenty good. But anyway, I've been saving this all so that we can break it on video. So kind of excited about that. Of course, gold is nothing to do with it. But let's go ahead and do this. And again, if you guys are wondering, how do you have these ores? You should know this by now. I'd have to have some pretty wacky viewers if you didn't. But let's see. Let's lay this out. So if you have an ore like this, and you set it down, and you find it out in the wild while mining, you can pick it right up using that silk touch. So very, very important tool. Um, it helps you a lot for your space of storage while mining. Um, hopefully at some point they bring back where you can pick up ice with it. That would probably be one of the most useful th tools for it. But also able to put things like grass in the nether, which is really neat. And then of course, uh, redstone ores, they do have a pretty uh, a special property where when you walk over them, it will activate and it will refresh the block. And uh, we're going to, probably in the future, near future, we'll build something uh, with the redstone ore using, uh, yeah, the actual ore blocks and not the dust. So that should be pretty cool. Anyway, let me put away my silk touch thing so I don't waste any more of it. Again, that was the only one that I've gotten. So let's see, here's a fortune pick that we've already used. So let's go ahead and use this bad boy. And so let's lay out all this ore and see how we do. Damn, isn't that about the sexiest thing you've ever seen? I was a little hesitant about breaking all the diamonds all at once, because I was thinking it might be cool if I didn't need it all um, to use some for decorating somewhere in the future, but we'll collect more. And I think I actually had some ores that I was saving to show you later. But anyway, we've got my Fortune 3, and let's check this out. This is 38 blocks of diamond. Diamond ore. It's only one. Woo! It is raining diamonds. 
God, I love this. The enchantment systems are just... Whew, really changed the game so much. Probably more single-handed than anything else. Nice, and we got three or four in that last one. Oh, I love it. So from 38 ore, in old school Minecraft, that would have been 38 diamond. We have 64 plus 21. Oh, God, I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, now I left. I have a one full stack of redstone that uh, I left because I wanted to keep it in the ore form. And then we have 17 lapis. So I'm going to set these all out. We'll break them, and then we'll move on. Oh my god, I think I'm going to jizz my pants. Look at this. Pure block of redstone ore. Oh, so beautiful. I don't even know if I have enough room in my inventory for all this. But anyway, here we go. So this was just shy of three full stacks of redstone. Oh god. So we still have a whole nother stack. But I do not think I'm going to have to go mining for a while. We're going to have to come up with some pretty insane projects to do. Now with all this ore. So we still do have quite a bit. I want to go through later. And uh, oh my god. And go through a bunch of to-dos. What we plan to do. I guess if we're going to follow this whole thing. This season in the world. I came across some really cool things, too, in my time alone playing. And I am really excited to finally get these episodes out of the way so I can start working on some of these projects. My goodness, this is going to take a while. More redstone than I have ever seen in my whole life in one spot. This is just... I feel like it's Christmas. Ah, it's raining redstone! I think we're almost at the end. I already had a good stack, stockpile of redstone already. Alright, I can't collect any of this already, so let's dump some of it. Oh, God, this feels so good. Ah. Okay, I think that's all of it. So we, I don't even know how many. I think we're only up to there or there. We got a lot. We got a lot, guys. Maybe I'll do a percentage thing and I'll stick it up later on there. But let's take a look. This was, I think we had, what was it, 18? I don't know. I'll look back later. I probably should have counted this ahead of time. Lapis, though, is the fortune. It probably is the most volatile as far as how many you get. Because you get so many in a drop anyway. But we should have... Look at that. Three and a half stacks just from that many blocks. Not bad. Not bad. So, I am feeling damn, damn good. We're lacking the most and probably gold at the moment. But I uh, almost got our full 64 block of iron, which I'm excited to do. And, um, yeah. So, I think now that we've checked out this stuff, and I didn't actually check my farm. So, I guess let's do that real quick, just to be thorough. Do I see the water coming out on both ends? Yep. Alright, so that works. And I didn't actually check the pistons in here. But as you can see, we got more slime balls already. And this guy shut off the water there. And this one shuts it off there. So this way we can just have slime topping around if we want. But that just ends up causing lag if I don't kill him. So that's our killing system. And again, we'll, I, I got to fix this whole thing. Eventually, I want to probably bring the slimes over more. But um, yeah. 
All right, I am going to, I think next, we'll check out the nether and we'll drop a portal, uh, the other side of that portal in, and we'll finish all that up. So let's head into the nether. Who I don't want to bring, let me just drop my inventory. All right, so we're in the nether, but wait a minute. This isn't our nether base. Where the hell are we? Well, you know what, guys? The episode ended up running a little bit longer, a little over 40 minutes long. So instead, I decided to split it up into two separate episodes. I'm going to upload them back to back, so it's still going to be the same thing, but that way I don't have to upload a 40 minute long video. So definitely make sure to thumbs this video up and make sure I'm going to put a link both in description and an annotation to just continue right on to the second half of this episode. But before I ended, I am right now in a creative world and it's using the same seed as, uh, as my Let's Play world. And this is just to go exploring and mess around, test stuff out. I'm about... A little under uh, 400 in the X direction and a little under uh, 1,000 in, or actually probably about 1,000 in the Z direction away from my current base, which would be my current base if I was in my Let's Play world. And what are we doing here? Well, when exploring, check out what I freaking found. The most epic, epic. All I did was take out the fences here and put that so you could see freaking Dual blaze spawners. They're so close. I think they're, what, two, four, six, six blocks apart. So we'll easily, easily in a future episode be able to go find this, make our way through the nether, and build a pretty simple yet epic dual uh, XP system. And uh, it will be absolutely amazing. So something to look forward to sometime later in this season. But anyway, guys, make sure, make sure, make sure to comment, like, subscribe this video, and make sure to uh, click the link to the next video and continue watching the first episode of Season 2 of my Let's Play Minecraft. So, peace out, guys.